So uh, what do we do when we want to color? The steps are exactly the same thing as for an upright microscope, uh, but everything is upside down. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to match the focus of the condenser with the focus of the objective. So the first thing we need to do is focus the objective. So this is really number one. You need to have a sample on your uh, stage so that we have now a sample. I don't know what it is, but something. And now the first thing we have to do is find the sample. So now I have an image on the screen and what I, I can run the camera to live. And now I'm going to focus so that I can uh, get my, uh, my image uh, in focus. So here we go, we have something here, some sort of objects. Right. So now that I, I am in focus, and this is really the first step, it's a very important step, I am in focus for the uh, objective, I will not touch the focal, uh, the focus anymore. So this button is the same thing as the focus on the, object, uh, on the microscope. I will not touch the focus on the microscope anymore. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to only take care of the condenser, which is this big blob here. So now that I am in focus, the number, the number two things that I do is that I'm going to close the aperture that is here, okay? So on all microscopes, all these steps are exactly the same thing. You just need to identify the uh, elements. So we have an aperture far away, it's called the field stop, and it's a little bit far away from the condenser, and we're closing that. And if you look at the screen, you can see that when I close this field stop, what happens is that first the image becomes darker. So if I just close completely, maybe my image will be completely black. So what I can do is that I can display, I can push the display. So I push basically the brightness and the contrast. As you know, it only changes what we see on the screen. It doesn't change what the image actually is. So. I close that guy and it goes very, very uh, dim like this. And I cannot see right now the shadow of the field stop, which is the aim. When everything is in focus, I will see the shadow of the field stop. Right now I cannot see it because it's completely out. Uh, so the, the, the condenser is basically defocused. It's in the wrong place in X, Y and Z. And the aim of coloring is to put it in the correct position in X, Y and Z. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to move the condenser in Z, in this, posi in this position. And for this, I'm using these big black knobs. So again, on all other microscopes, they look a little bit different, but it's basically you always have sub knobs that will move the whole thing here up and down. And that's what you're going to be using. So what I do is that when I move this, if you look at the screen, you will see that I will move my condenser up and down and on one direction, it's going to become brighter. So that's where I want to go. So I'm going to the direction. And here, if I bring the condenser down, I am actually going to brighter, 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 brighter. And then I can see this spot coming. And this is actually the shadow of the field stop, which is closed, right? I've closed it. And so I can, it looks a little bit saturated here, but it's only because I have pushed the, um, the brightness and contrast, I can reset this. So now you can see the shadow of the field stop, which is closed, and that means that my condenser is now uh, at the correct position in Z, so it's at the correct height. So once the condenser is at the correct position like this, I also need to bring it in X, Y, in this plane, at the correct position so that it's in the center. And you can see quite clearly on the screen that it is not in the center. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use these two screws. And again, on different microscopes, it may look different, but it's always two screws that are at a 90 degree angle like this. And so I move them and it's, uh, uh, I'm used to doing it in the eyepiece and not so much doing it in the, uh, for the camera. So it's not super easy, but basically I am bringing that thing by moving both of them together. I'm bringing it more or less at the center, okay? So here we go. Now, when I, once I think it's more or less at the center, what I can do is, uh, if you could look here, I can reopen the field stop so that I bring, so this is the field stop, right? Gabriel, I show you. And if, I, if we look again at the screen, when I reopen the field stop, what I can see is that the, sh the, um, uh, the shadow 
is going to get closer to the edge of my field of view and that's very convenient so that I can actually see that it's almost centered or not. So now I can again move the screws to put it exactly at the center. Um, so something like that. It's, again, it's not super easy because I'm used to do it in the eyepiece. <laughs> uh, all right. So once I am in the center, no, I'm doing the other way. Uh, there we go. Okay. Right. So once I am in the center, now what I have done, if I remind you, number one, I focused the objective on the sample using the focus of the microscope, okay, the normal focus knob. Then afterwards, I don't touch the focus of the objective anymore. I'm only concerned with the condenser. So after focusing the objective on the sample, I closed the field stop above. And then the third, so that was the second step. And then the third step is that I am focusing with this big knob, I'm focusing the condenser. So I'm bringing it up, up and down until I see the shadow of the field stop that is, stop, that is closed. And once the shadow of the field stop is in focus, I can use these two screws to move uh, uh, the whole condenser right and left so that the condenser is now centered. So now I have colored the microscope. Physically, that's what I've done. So it takes only a couple of seconds if you don't just speak. And uh, once I've done that, I can reopen the field stop completely. Okay. So now I can see that the shadow is disappearing. Now we're past the, um, the field of view, so I don't see it anymore. And the last thing that I will do is that I'm going to close the uh, if you look at the condenser here, yeah, I'm going to close the condenser aperture. So we have this little slider here on this edge, right? And when I close this, I'm actually making my image uh, more contrasted. Okay, so I can just reset again this so that you can see what's going on, right? So I'm now making this and I close, uh, I close it until I see that it becomes a little bit darker. You can see that when we're closing the aperture of the condenser, I'm making things more contrasted, but I'm also starting to see things that are a little bit out of focus. And so that I will see things clearer here. And this is actually dirt that is on the other side of the cover slip. I don't want to see that. The best position for the aperture of the condenser is the same numeric as the numerical aperture of the objective and otherwise you can just close until you see a getting a little bit darker. The image is getting a little bit darker. So now we have colored the microscope. So number one, focus on your sample. Number two, focus, uh, close the, um, the field stop. Number three, focus the condenser. Number four, center the condenser. And then reopen the field stop. And then finally, close the condenser aperture. Now you have a perfectly colored microscope and you will be able to get great bright images. And this does not influence fluorescence. Bye-bye. Okay.